Studio podcast featuring tunes and stories from the world of traditional music and fiddling. I'm Meg Wobus Beller, and today I'll be bringing you a setting of Ne'er Shall I Wean Her from a session at the Art House Bar in Baltimore, Maryland. Hello, everyone. I hope you are well. Today we'll be talking about rhythms versus slow practice. Two big ways to improve your playing, to learn a specific tune better, to get your playing up a level, and of course, play faster, something we're talking about this whole month in January on the Fiddle Studio podcast. I'm going to tell you from my perspective as a fiddle teacher and when I'm watching a student and giving them advice for how to get to the next level for speed for playing really accurately and really cleanly, when to slow down and use slow practice and when to use rhythms. For slowing down, if it's out of tune, it requires slowing down. You have to add the thinking back in. Last week, I was talking all about how to bring the thinking out of your playing. (laughs) But if your tune is out of tune in your left hand, the fingers where they're going, then you really need to slow down. You can put a drone on if you can't tell whether it's in tune or if you tend to get distracted. I developed over many years of teaching violin the ability to ignore when things are out of tune because sometimes I just need to work on other stuff with my students and not be correcting their tuning all the time. So I can get distracted and just not notice when things are out of tune. When else to slow down? If you if you can't play it, <laughs> rhythms won't help. So if it's a really complicated finger pattern, would often use like different strings or different placements on the strings, a mix of low and high fingers. Until you can play it, you need to go slow to learn what it is. I use slow practice in fiddling for ornaments. It's funny, the first thing a lot of classical players do is they'll take the ornaments out. And for fiddle, it depends. I love to teach more intermediate advanced students the tune with the ornaments right in there, but we tend to need to do it slow to fit them in with the timing correctly and then speed it up from there. If you already know the tune without ornaments and you're putting some in, especially if it's big like turns, (laughs) ornaments with a lot of stuff going on, it helps to sort of slow way down and put them in rhythmically the way you want them to sound right where you want them, and then speed the tune up once you've got it slow, but you like the ornamentation and kind of the feel of the tune. If you want to practice using more bow, if you're working on your tone, you got to go slow. (laughs) We talked about that in, in the recent podcast, The Biggest Mistake I See. So when to use rhythms. This is another way to bring your thinking out of your playing. Just a quick review of what rhythms are. They're usually used for reels. For classical players, they're used in any kind of run or fast passage of of rapid notes that are all the same, whether they're, they're triplets or groups of two or four notes. For passage work, for reels, for fiddle, you can change up the rhythm and play the whole thing instead of all the same length note, you can play it long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, and then go back and play the same thing, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So you're changing the rhythm and some people like to really play around with this. They might, you know, make the first note in the group of three long, long, short, short, long, short, short, and then make the second note in the group of three, da, 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 da. (laughs) It's, It's a little tricky for me to wrap my brain around. But whatever pattern you're doing, if you can play something, but it's not moving that quickly, if your thinking is slowing you down or just you don't have the muscle memory in your hand yet, you just haven't played it enough, or you're trying to get over the hurdle to just bring the level of your playing up faster, you can use these rhythms. 
They also work great if your playing is a little uneven or you're having some trouble coordinating between the left and the right hand. It really solidifies things and it allows you, because it makes the tune so solid, to go much faster. The trick is to take the long notes as slow and long as you need them to practice the short notes really quick. You know, I'll really encourage students to do these long notes where their brain catches up and then do the little short changes for their short notes. Any conservatory you go to, walking through the practice room hallway, you'll hear people using these rhythms. They really are a key to playing quickly and cleanly at the same time. For slowing down, if you can't play it, if it's out of tune, fitting in ornaments or practicing using more bow, And for rhythms, to clean it up, get it faster, you can use that. Our tune for today is called Several Variations on Ne'er Shall I Wean Her or I I Ne'er Shall Wean Her. Uh, It's also called Mrs. O'Sullivan's. And the clearest explanation I got of this is that when it's played in A, people call it Ne'er Shall I Wean Her. And in B minor, it's Mrs. O'Sullivan's. I also saw it under a third name. Folks mentioned seeing it in Scottish collections as the Irish girl. I did find a little blurb about this being collected in 1967 by Brendan Bretnach from Molly Myers Murphy. And Molly Myers Murphy had been a student of Tom Billy Murphy. So Molly Myers Murphy married Tom Billy's nephew, Will Murphy, and learned from him. They lived near Cork, and she apparently didn't have a name for this, but said that I ne'er shall wean her was the name they used in Cork. Anyway, you can find it in various albums. Let's see, Air Fix, an album from Ross Ainsley and Yarlath Henderson. Also, Christy McNamara's album, The House I Was Reared In. So you can look for it there. Here we go. You can find the music for today's tune at fiddlestudio.com along with my books, courses, and membership for learning to fiddle. I'll be back next week with another tune for you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.